What are the specific exercises that people with Parkinson's should do? Everybody with Parkinson's disease asks me, what are the exercises I should be doing? And it's actually a little bit difficult to answer in a straightforward way. One of the key points in regards to Parkinson's and exercise is the fact that we know that doing something is better than doing nothing. If it's an activity that, that you enjoy, then it will make it that much easier to engage in that activity as opposed to uh, prescribing to an exercise program that you know is important, but perhaps you don't like it as much. And if your energy is low, you're less apt to participate on that particular day. I think it's going to take probably another 10 or 20 years to figure out the best type of exercise and the best mode of exercise and there are many people working on that, thank goodness now, finally. Um, you know, but we need to transition this to the community immediately. If you have a group uh, that you are working with, with, with whatever activity, whether it be uh, walking, biking, swimming, then those people are more apt to hold you accountable for being there, know that you're supposed to be there and, and uh, will call on you if, if you are not there. It is important for people with Parkinson's disease to do three kinds of exercises. Aerobic conditioning or cardiovascular exercises, strength training, strength exercises with some sort of resistance, and stretching exercises. So the cardiovascular exercises should be done about three days a week for at least 30 minutes. For stretching, some people with Parkinson's disease have a lot of stiffness or rigidity, and, it's, and, and in those people, it is really important to stretch. Now, stretching is something that can be done every day. In fact, it should be done every day. It makes you feel looser, it keeps your muscles flexible, and it keeps your joints loose. And the, the areas to target are mostly the trunk in here. So the twisting motions in here so that we can make sure the trunk stays flexible. And then in, in the front of the hips here and in the chest and in the neck area. So with strengthening, the message is that you need to do resistance training. And the resistance training can, be, can take many forms. You can use dumbbell weights that you hold in your hands and move like in this fashion elastic bands to provide resistance or some of those fancy machines that they have in gyms that provide some resistance. You need to do strengthening exercises about three days a week for about 30 minutes and you want to target the big muscles in the body, the extensors mostly. So the muscles in the front of the thighs, the quadriceps, the muscles in the buttocks, the gluteus muscles, and the muscles in the trunk here in the back. For people with Parkinson's disease, those are the target muscles. Now, many people with Parkinson's disease say, well, that's great, Neri. Now I understand, I, I understand generally what I should be doing, but how do I know the specific exercise to do for me? And the reason I can't tell you the specific exercise to do for you right now is that everybody's a little different. Everybody has different medical issues other than Parkinson's disease that come into play. Everybody has a different kind of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is so variable that not everybody is the same. So what might work for one person might have to be a little bit different for someone else. So now that you know that it's important to do some fitness training, aerobic conditioning, and some stretching and some strengthening, now you need to go see a physical therapist who is knowledgeable in the area of Parkinson's disease, or you can see a personal trainer who can work with a physical therapist and they can work in partnership so that a program can be designed specifically to meet your needs.